Shalom or welcome. Thank you for visiting this website, Evangelical in Time Machine. I'm Fereza and I'm one of the warriors of the last days. On January 28, 2017, the Lord Jesus Christ himself brought on the following message to his servant and in-time prophet of the last days, Benjamin Kusainsen. Shalom, my beloved. I am who I am and I am Kadosh, Kadosh. Kadosh, holy, 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 and I'm your wonderful counselor. Revelation 22 verse 13 I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. I am the Almighty, and I am alive. My name is Yahweh, your King and Abba, Father, Yeshua HaMashiach, Isa, Jesus Christ. Revelation 22 verse 6 He said to me, These words are faithful and true, so far. Verily, you who are listening, listen attentively. I tell you a parable in imagery. Despite their fleshly thoughts, Marcel and Karula understood very well. After they had accepted me, Yahweh, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, that the fruit of true love is, being able to forgive each other, and being able to let go and forget. Verily, the Holy Spirit enlightens, as long as you do not hold on to the fleshly mind, like the world does. Romans 12, verse 2 and 3 Don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may prove what is the good, well-pleasing, and perfect will of God. For I say, through the grace that was given me, to every man who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think reasonably, as God has apportioned to each person a measure of faith. Learn to forgive, as I have forgiven all your trespasses, and do not complain, but show the fruit of love, and don't bring the whole past to the surface over and over again. Because Satan likes to do this, to continue to accuse and to keep looking whether one can blame for something. Be aware that you are in the flesh in order to be formed. But some are so stubborn and do not realize that not to forgive and show love is really enmity against the Holy Spirit who is in you. Forgiveness comes from God. Colossians 3 verse 12 to verse 19. Put on therefore, as God chosen ones, holy and beloved, a heart of compassion, kindness, lowliness, humility, and perseverance, bearing with one another, and forgiving each other. If any man has a complaint against any, even as Christ forgive you, so you also do. Above all these things, walk in love, which is the band of perfection. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdom teaching, and admonishing one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. Whatever you do, in word or in deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Wives, be in subjection to your husbands, as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives, and don't be bitter against them. Verily, some simply do not believe that to forgive is comprehensive. Think once of a pecan. You can almost see the hardness of the nut if you do nothing but to look at it. The appearance can be deceiving, but if you feel under the skin, then it is soft and supple. The nut tastes delicious. The hard shell is a representation of sin around you, while the fruit of the nut inside the shell remains intact. When the shell is removed, then it is easier to produce more nuts. Verily, I, Yeshua HaMashiach, look through the skin with my love. Luke 23 verse 34 Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. 
dividing his garments among them, they cast lots. Verily, you all have sinned, and all deserve the judgment. But my father sent me, so that I would take away your judgment, and forgive you. John 3 verse 16 and 17 For God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God didn't send his Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world should be saved through him. I don't condemn you, as you also don't condemn others, but let the love come outward toward each other and toward me. Verily, taking revenge and anger and bitterness are not fruits of love. Hebrews 9 verse 22 According to the law, nearly everything is cleansed with blood, and apart from shedding of blood, there is no remission. And 1 Peter 3 verse 17 and 18 For it is better, if it is God's will, that you suffer for doing well than for doing evil. Because Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring you to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. And Psalm 103 verse 12 As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Verily, worrying is often anxiety about what might happen. That too is unbelief. However, true love conquers everything. I love you. I'm going now. Ruacha Yeshu Shalom spoke the Lord Jesus Christ, Yahweh, Yeshua HaMashiach, and disappeared. And also I say to you, Ruacha Yeshu Shalom. God bless. Amen.